At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of health care to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is brought to you in part by One Nevada Credit Union, where right now you can refinance your auto loan with rates as low as 2.98% and no payments for 90 days for qualified members. Call us today for details. News 46 is also brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. News is also brought to you by Hope Counseling Services, where we specialize in behavioral health, inspiring hope for a brighter tomorrow. Call 775-727-0101 for more information. Tonight on News 46, a diesel driver who died in Tuesday's accident is identified. Portable toilets are supplied for the homeless. And Valley Electric holds a school supply drive. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Zach Fuentes and Monique Mitchell. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. And good evening. It's Thursday, August 9, 2012. I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. Nevada Highway Patrol has issued a press release identifying the driver of a gas tanker truck who passed away after the vehicle crashed into a large ditch off Highway 160 in the town of Johnny on Tuesday afternoon. According to the report by Nevada Highway Patrol Trooper Jeremy Elliott, a 2007 Peterbilt tanker truck with a trailer tanker was traveling northbound on State Route 160 in the northbound travel lane. For unknown reasons, the truck traveled off the east shoulder and struck the guardrail. The truck and trailing unit went over the guardrail and down an east dirt embankment. The truck overturned and caught fire. The driver, Keith Andrew Prum, was seated in the cab of the truck and was engulfed by the flames. The driver, 44-year-old Keith Andrew Prum of Las Vegas, was pronounced dead on scene at 6.06 p.m. by Nye County Sheriff Deputy Coroner Investigator Richard Deutsch. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And a two-vehicle accident has injured at least four people at State Routes 160 and 159 this afternoon on the southwest side of the Las Vegas Valley. The accident happened shortly after 1 p.m. and involved a white sport utility vehicle and a white Ford sedan. An injured woman was airlifted to UMC Trauma Center um, con in, con in critical condition while at least three others were transported by ambulances to UMC Trauma Center. The road was closed while the investigation was being conducted. Well, two Las Vegas billboards were vandalized yesterday with ads protesting the state of the economy with mannequins dangling on a hangman's noose. One mannequin was strung below a black sign with the words, dying for work, while another was beneath the sign that read, hope you're happy, Wall Street. No one has claimed responsibility for the action, but an Occupy Las Vegas supporter said those who say it's in bad taste are, quote, living sheltered lives. On the Occupy Las Vegas website, they are supporting the signs. They say that Clark County has the second highest rate of adult suicide in the country right now and that it has the fifth highest rate of child suicide. They added that the Clark County suicide hotline number is not in service at this time. And do you feel like heading out to see a show this weekend? Let's find out from Mr. Movie Phone what's happening at the movies. I'm Mr. Movie Phone. An old franchise is born again. Marriage tips from Steve Carell and Will Ferrell hits the campaign trail. Stay tuned for my weekend movie preview next. Join us at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prump Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino. 
This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. Happy weekend, everybody. I'm Mr. Movie Phone with your weekend movie preview. This week at the movies, Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis hit the campaign trail. The Bourne franchise is still alive. But first, Tommy Lee Jones drops the tough guy act and goes all rom-com in Hope Springs. Well, you want to go to intensive couples counseling in Maine. The flight leaves tomorrow. Jones plays Arnold, the longtime husband to Kay, played by Meryl Streep. Kay is searching for something to spice up the romance in their decades-long marriage and turns to a couples therapist, played by Steve Carell. The Real Deal, a funny dramedy for uh, mature audiences. It'll make you laugh. If you've been married a while, probably make you squirm. But you'll be glad you spent some time with this great cast of Hope Springs. I'm in! Bourne is back, but not how you think. There's a new leading man in the spy thriller, The Bourne Legacy. Who the hell is he? He's an outcome agent. We have never seen evaluations like this. In the fourth installment of the series, Matt Damon, a.k.a. Jason Bourne, is out. And Jeremy Renner is in. He's part of the same elite agency as Bourne and, as you might expect, ends up on the run. Edward Norton and Rachel Weisz co-star. The Real Deal, Matt who? Damon what? The material is overly familiar, but Jeremy Renner adds a whole new dimension to the spy franchise, and I like it. I'm in. Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis are slinging mud and stumping for laughs in the campaign. Education is our future. Farmers are this nation's backbone. Bankers, women, veterans, Filipino tilt-a-whirl operators are this nation's backbone. Farrell plays incumbent Congressman Cam Brady, who's fighting for his North Carolina seat after a major gaffe. Enter opponent Marty Huggins, played by Galifianakis, who is thrust into the race thanks to the financing of some wealthy scheming CEOs. The real deal, the political satire that hits a lot of hot buttons. You have to be up for Will Ferrell special brand of humor, but if you are, the campaign wins by landslide. I'm in! All right, remember, for your showtimes, your tickets, my six-second review, so much more, go to moviephone.com or call 1-800-777-FILM. And if you want to drop me a note, it's facebook.com slash mrmoviephone or tweet me right at Six Second Reviews. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you at the movies. That's a wrap! Commissioner Butch Baraski and Helping Hands Director Richard Fenton spoke to News 46 at a meeting yesterday regarding the portable toilets that have been provided in the desert area for the homeless. Well, we're having our, our regular monthly community outreach meeting, and community outreach is, is, comes out of uh, Night Communities Coalition. They're the parent for us all. Richard and I are working together a lot right now, uh, uh, securing toilets to put them on the fan. I know some people have heard about that. and. Uh, what happened, we had a commissioner's meeting. Uh, we were going to try to provide funding through the county. Uh, the county didn't want to do it. Only two of us would go along. And then a few days later, we had some kind-hearted people in the community that stepped forward and said, we'll take care of it, we'll pay for it. So right now, we're just trying to help what we can. Uh, we've had a lot of veterans up on the hill and, and other people that are down on their luck that uh, don't have a job, lost their job or whatever. And we're just trying to do our part as a community outreach group to help those folks. They're actually, we're, we're asked to put in the counties right away so none of the property owners would have a complaint. They're up there. They've been delivered. They're being paid for by people from the public. And they're just stepping forward as community members to try to do their part to help. Richard, you work a lot with the homeless. Tell me a little bit about uh, what, what goes on day to day as far as uh, their struggles, this is something that's going to come in very helpful for them, isn't it? Yes, it is actually. Uh, from what I've experienced uh, working with the uh, homeless uh, behind uh, the nugget out there in the desert, and there are other uh, campsites around town, is that uh, their main needs like uh, showers, toilets, uh, food, so forth, uh, the primary needs that we all take for granted are some of the needs that uh, we're, we're trying to uh, provide for. The uh, porta potties out in the desert now is one step. Uh, we're working on uh, some other steps to, uh, to help these people. Uh, tent showers and uh, cleanup. We're going to have a cleanup on September the 8th 
If anybody wants to help clean up the desert out there uh, behind the Nugget, we're going to start there. And then we're going to move over to the Smiths area uh, in that area. And we're just going to pile up all the, the trash that we see and then we'll pick it up in, in trucks. Uh, on September 8th, just give me a call. Uh, my number is 775-253-5757 uh, for the cleanup in the desert on September 8th. Or uh, get a hold of Butch and he can get a hold of me. And uh, so th there's several things that we're doing to try to, uh, to help the individuals that live out there. One of them is also to help them uh, uh, get jobs. And uh, that's, uh, that's an ongoing process, as you can imagine. And James Oscarson invites the public to Saturday's Back to School Health Fair at Desert View Hospital. It's an event that we do every year. We are doing it this year in conjunction with Nye Community Coalition. Uh, we're going to have a great event. It starts at 9 o'clock on Saturday and goes till 1 o'clock. We'll be offering no-cost immunizations. Uh, there'll be hot dogs. There'll be dental screenings, vision screenings, all those kind of things that go along with a back-to-school health fair. And this is free of charge? There's no cost for any of the any of the events or functions that are happening. Also be doing no-cost sports physicals. So how long have you guys been doing this for? We've been participating in this since the hospital's been here. This is the second year we've had it at the hospital. Uh, we have a facility large enough to accommodate the needs of the community. We can do some of the immunizations and things in a little more private uh, setting than we've been able to do in the past. So uh, we're very fortunate and very happy to partner with Night Communities Coalition to do that. And there's going to be different booths out there and stuff. Is that for the different immunizations and such? There'll be a variety of people there for the uh, that have services that are available to the community, especially to the children. It's more children's geared. We do have our adult health fair where we do no cost uh, flu shots, but that's not till uh, October 20th. So this one is specifically geared to the children of the community and to be able to provide services for them that there might not be uh, opportunity for them to get otherwise. And this goes up to the school age kids. It does. It goes all the way through the uh, high schoolers that they can get their uh, their sports physicals and their immunizations that they need. Great. And so when is this and what times again? It's this Saturday, the 11th, and it goes from 9 o'clock till 1 o'clock. And we invite you all to come out. We'll be having a great time. And it's, it's a great event for the community, and we love having the kids come. More local news to come after the break. Please keep it here.